Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get the Tesla menu as well as Edison on your Nintendo Switch running Atmosphere. So step one here is to go ahead and download, app, uh, download Tesla as well as the OVL loader. But actually, let's go ahead and take a look at the Edison part of this because it includes all three parts that we need. Edison, NX uh, OVL loader, and Tesla menu. You need all three of these in order to make it work. So first things first, let's go ahead, Edison, snapshot build. We want to download both of these files here. So let's click on that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and throw these just here in, uh, I'm just going to call this Tesla for the time being. Save. And NX OVL. I'm just going to go ahead, download everything and throw it all into this one folder for now. NX OVL loader, we need this. Download that, save. Next part, Tesla menu. Click there, download, and save. Okay, next part is we want to go ahead and open up that folder. So show in folder. Now we're here, this is where I download everything. Let's go ahead and unzip, extract here. And again, we want to extract here huh well that's interesting so if you open it up see there's a switch folder there and open up nx atmosphere contents and you can see the extracted switch overlays ovl menu dot ovl this is the actual tesla overlay so now let's copy the edison overlay and let's put that in switch overlays paste Okay, so go ahead, and we need Edison.nro. This one, uh, again, cut, and paste it right here. Not into the overlays, just into the switch menu. Done. And these two here, we do not need them. Delete. And that is basically it to get the Tesla menu set up, as well as Edison. So let's go ahead, take these two here. We are going to cut and i have a switch pretend sd card so pretend right here is this sd card and paste ta-da here you are on your nintendo switch you'll have many folders but in my pretend sd card there's atmosphere as well as the switch folder and inside here it's going to be everything you need go ahead throw the sd card back in your nintendo switch boot into atmosphere and you will have access to the Tesla menu as well as Edison. So, actually, there's one more thing that I want to show you how to install, and that is SysClock, as well as the status monitor. So, let's go ahead and get that done. Now we need to download status monitor. Go ahead, click on here. We can just save that to the exact same menu we were saving everything to, as well as SysClock. Save. And there's a couple more things we need. NX FPS. Click on releases. NX FPS. Download that. And as you see here, go back one. It requires Salty NX as well. Salty NX. This will allow you to not only view the status of the CPU GPU, but also show FPS as well. So we're going to go ahead, click on any of these. Show in folder. And again, we just need to do the same thing, extract, and extract, and NXFPS, extract. Okay, that's good. So let's go ahead, open up our pretend SD card. Here we are, pretend switch SD card, as well as the files which i just opened oh okay pretend switch sd card decided to move over for some reason here we are and first things first we can go ahead and delete these zip files since we unzipped everything we do not need these anymore and status monitor overlay overlays will always go switch overlays okay next part sys clock so you're going to take all three of these cut them and you want to paste them right onto your Switch base SD card. Okay, we are done with that. And 
Salty NX. So same thing. You want to take both of these, cut them, paste them right into your SD card. Make sure you deselect things before you paste, or else it will paste it into your Atmosphere folder. Salty NX. So go ahead, cut this, and paste it right onto your SD card again. And everything will be all in the correct places, and like all the files will be there. That's it. This is everything that you need. So this is your Switch SD card, exactly what it'll look like. Take it out, put it into your Nintendo Switch. We'll hop over to the Switch now, and I'll show you what it looks like over there. Okay, actually a quick cut here. I want to show you how to get all of the up-to-date cheats onto your Nintendo Switch for Nintendo Switch games. Well, we're... Well, we have access to the SD card because they kind of go along with Edison. So you go ahead here to the GBA temp thread, go all the way down to this one, titles.rar, click on it, download, and it's going to download to the same folder. We've been throwing everything in right here, titles.rar. We want to extract it. So it's just unzipping, unzipping, done, titles. Okay, so we want to select all so you can just uh either you control a or right here cut and i'm gonna go ahead open up my pretend switch sd card right here go into atmosphere contents and paste now these are actually quite a few files on a real sd card it's going to take quite a bit of time if it prompts you to replace any files you're probably going to want to go ahead and say yes to that. But in my instance, I'm going to go ahead and skip that just in case. Because there is something here that I want to update and it has to do with Skyrim. But I'm going to do that in my other video. So now that we have this updated, we can go over to the Switch and see what the menu looks like. Alright, so while editing this video, I realize there's one very, very important thing that I didn't mention. Here it is. Go into your Atmosphere folder after you have everything set up the way you want it on the SD card. We want to go to Config Templates, and System Settings, .ini. Copy, don't cut, copy it. Go to Config, paste it here. Now this will be your default config for Atmosphere, and there is one very important thing that we want to change. Here we are. DMNT. Here, DMNT, Cheats Enabled by Default. So, by default, Atmosphere will automatically load all cheats for all games. And if you're anything like me, you don't always want to have cheats on. You only want to use them from time to time to help out. So, here's what we need to do. Backspace two times on this. We want to get rid of the semicolon. And then, we want to change the very end to 0 x zero zero x zero means off zero x one means on so and oh, oh, where we are? oh sorry this one here okay so no semicolon dmnt cheats enabled by default equals u8 exclamation zero x zero file save close and there you are. Now you're ready to put your SD card back in the Nintendo Switch. Now that we're back on the Nintendo Switch, let me show you how to open up the test limit. On your controller, hold down on the D-pad, the L button, and click in with the right analog stick. Ta-da! And if you want to back out of that, just hit the, the B button. Same, bring it back up. There we are. Here is our Tesla menu. So... I have a couple extra things here, but for you, you will have Status Monitor, Edison, and SysClock. So let's go ahead and actually open up a game. I'm going to go ahead and do... Hmm, let's do Mario 3D All-Stars. Okay, actually, I'm going to go ahead and open up Mario Sunshine. Because there is one thing about this game that really pisses me off. And it has to do with the water mechanic. 
I hate not only having to reload it, but also having to refill it. It really seems like an unnecessary time sink that Nintendo put in the game. In general, it makes sense, because how are you going to have unlimited water in real life? But it's a game, it's not real life. So let's get going here. Uh, yeah, start. Yeah, okay, nice work, Mario. In jail. Let's get past these cutscenes here. Uh, no, I do not want to hear your explanation. Oh my god, didn't I click no? Okay, Delfino Plaza, and we have Flood. So let's change the mode here. How do I click this thing? No, not wrong button. I want to change it to the... Ah, there we are. Okay. So here, water, water, water. Water, water. Ran out of water. Or it didn't run out of water, but it has to recharge. So, let's go ahead and open up our Tesla menu. Edison Cheats. So, Super Mario Sunshine. This will bring up all the cheats that we have installed for Super Mario Sunshine. I want to do... The water, infinite water, no, infinite hover time, infinite water tank. And let's try this again. Jump, fire, infinite hover time. So we are good. We can go anywhere we want. You know what? There's a little island over here. Let's go ahead and go over there. See if we can break the game a little bit. I don't know if you can hear my controller vibrating a bit. Actually, kind of going kind of, kind of nuts. Stop. Okay, and we're here. So that's one of the things you can do with cheats. Other things you can do are. Let's take a look here. Open up the cheat menu again. So that's the cheats on. If you want to go ahead and disable cheats, you can just go here, disable, disable. Jetpack mode, high water, inf infinite breathing underwater. Let's try this, see if it works. You dive. Gosh, oh, there we are. Life. And this also seems to be working, so infinite underwater time. So basically, you can get past quite a few mechanics in the game that are going to be troublesome. So you're going to find that most games are like this with uh, Nintendo Switch cheats. Let's go ahead and show you another thing you can do with this. Status monitor. Mini. So here's our status monitor. You can see GPU usage as well as the clock speed over there on the far right. GPU and clock speed. These are all normal. Nothing's overclocked. But if you want to overclock that, uh, the way you get back out of this menu here on the status mark, you have to click in on both analog sticks, hold them for a moment, and it goes back. If you just want an FPS counter, you can add that there. Same thing, hold both sticks to go back. And let's go to Sys Clock. This actually doesn't really matter for this game. Mario, I'm going to go ahead and overclock the CPU up just a little bit. And now, if we go to status monitor, Let's open the full one. We can see the FPS and frequency under CPU. 1581. So our CPU has been successfully overclocked. With the Nintendo Switch, you can generally safely overclock the GPU and CPU to the max if you're docked and your Switch is in a cool, well-ventilated place. Let's show you uh, one more game. We're going to go ahead and exit out of this. Go over to Metroid Dread. This game takes a few moments to load up, so I'll be right back. Alright, now that we're in Metroid Dread, let's go ahead and see what kind of cheats we have available to us. Let's open up the Tesla menu, Edison Cheats. Moon Jump? Huh. Okay. We'll turn that on. As well as, whoa, Auto Counter Emmy. That's super convenient. 99 Energy, Max Missiles. You know, let's do 99 max missiles. And instant speed boost could be a lot of fun. Let's see here. Hmm. 
missing something with the instant speed boost, but this moon jump is working. ZR to moon jump. Hmm. Speed boost doesn't seem to be so instant at the moment. But I think we can just keep teleporting around, so that's perfectly fine. Oh, energy. Wow. Infinite missiles doesn't seem to be working. Let's take a look and see if there's a different code for that. Sometimes I there's multiple codes. Some of them work, some of them don't. Static version. Moon jump. Let's try this instant speed booster. As well as infinite energy, infinite ion, ion and infinite missiles. Oh, cool. Okay, that works. Yeah, instant speed boost is working. You don't have to charge it up at all. It just goes. Control is going kind of nuts. Look at me firing missiles away. The number isn't going down. Moon jump. Okay, you don't even need to spin jump for it. Just hold ZR and jump and you go flying up in the air. How about the... dash. So again, infinite energy. So all the cheats are working as intended. Okay, this is pretty awesome. Metroid Dread just got a whole lot more fun. Too bad I'm already in at the end of the game. So this is how you use your cheats for the Tesla menu with Edison in conjunction on the Nintendo Switch Atmosphere custom firmware. If you have any questions, comments, uh, anything you think I missed or could add or improve on next time, anything you want to know, please let me know down in the comments section below. I hope you like the video and see you again next time.